I love waking up in the desert. The sun rises, sun sets, the stars. It's so nice. And, and you can really feel like the desert wakes up with you. Like the temperature rises so suddenly. And the sun is so spectacular. And the whole van, like the solar kicks on full tilt pretty quick. And yeah, I just love the desert. Anyway, I'm making some breakfast this morning. So I'm only an hour and a half from Vegas, and we'll end up there eventually. There's a few more things I want to see on my way in, and I don't want to leave uh, Tammy and Joe just yet, because this camping spot is pretty awesome, and I might go dirt biking, I think. Yeah. A little bit of dirt biking, a little bit of breakfast, a little bit of champ. He's doing good. Having the two other dogs here puts champ on high alert. He's a little bit more... Uh, Alive, aggressive, you know, macho, macho champ all of a sudden. Whatever that means. Mm. I decided to hold off on the dirt bike ride for a bit and uh, go for a hike with Champ, you know, because Champ doesn't have his own dirt bike and I don't have a sidecar for him and he just barks at me the whole time I'm trying to drive it around and has a hard time keeping up because he's an old man. So I can only go on small little rips with him and uh, I'd like to go somewhere a little bit further today. So I'm just gonna take him for a hike with me this morning and when we get back, maybe we'll go for a dirt bike ride. What? I don't want this one.
ride. I feel myself getting better and better every time I ride. And uh, Joe was just warning me that's exactly what happens. You, you get better, you get cocky, and then you really get hurt. So I'm trying not to get cocky, if that's at all possible for me. Anyway, we're gonna head into town. I have a lot of little chores I wanna do, but these guys are deciding to ride into town with me because in and out it's the first one I've seen on the road. And it's right here in St. George. So I'm gonna go get some in and out with my buddies Tammy and Joe. It's so cool. So Tammy and Joe, you guys have had this trailer for two years? Yep. So you've had this trailer for two years. You got the land, you built the cabin up in Idaho. Oh, I haven't really built the cabin. It's a shed. Yeah, the shed cabin. But they they wanted to do that and then they just found that the fifth wheel thing, they were just doing it more and more and liked it more and more and so it goes to show there's like a lot of different styles of doing this kind of nomadic lifestyle. You guys are on BLM a lot. Yeah. And you move like once a week? Yeah. Once a week. Twice a week. It just depends. Yeah. And uh, I've met a few other like people in a similar lifestyle as you. It's like there's different types of, of systems that work. And this is one that's really popular to do like the fifth wheel because the truck and trailer separation is nice to have big time. And, uh, you know, there's there's just so much land, especially out here, to camp. It's so easy. You don't really have to uh, stress that much, and you don't have to take care of a house anymore. Sold the house, living in a trailer. Don't play it down, man. This is a pretty this is a pretty serious move, but I, you know, I applaud it. Like, look at this thing. It's a pretty nice little apartment for sure. <laughs> and the view is spectacular. Look at this. Middle of nowhere. Lovely. I'm so glad I went to, uh, I'm so glad I got my first in and out I'm gonna try not to do too many fast food places. I've been being pretty healthy. It's been a good solid three weeks since I've eaten out, so. Anyways, so nice meeting up with Joe and Tammy. Those guys are so cool, and they've been watching my videos since pretty much the start. So, it was really cool to like, reach out with them and talk to them, because they, they know the whole story. They know all of it. And they're just genuinely really cool people, which has been so nice. So nice. I, I keep meeting just awesome people on the road, man. I'm so lucky that way. Oh, I tried the animal style, animal style burger. Review, eh, you know, kind of like the double cheese a bit better, to be honest. But to each their own, right? Champ loved the fries. He's all about that fry game. We're gonna do some chores this morning. I gotta get my propane. Um, I'm ordering a new camera, which be so excited. Good audio, good footage coming very soon. And uh, yeah, just a couple other little things and we'll hit the road on our way to Vegas. Vegas, baby! Vegas, baby! Okay guys, so that was an intense session at a coffee shop. Probably one of the most intense I've ever had. Um, Jessica's booked her ticket. She's coming down for the baseball spring training. So we're doing that in February. And then Sam is coming down in January to do a circuit of New Mexico and Arizona with me. That she just bought her ticket. That's super exciting. Oh my god, I'm just like through. But here's the one I'm so nervous about. I just ordered the new camera gear. I'm going Sony. It is in the mail. Holy crap! It was a lot of money. That's it's a big risk, and I'm gonna sell my Nikon gear now. Finally, get the rid of the last of it. So that's it. The Nikon gear is is that's the end of an era for me. I've been shooting Nikon for seven years now. I'm so nervous, I'm so excited, I just, I can't wait. I'm gonna go pick them up in Santa Fe, so it'll be still probably another couple weeks before I even get to handle the new gear, but I'm excited, and it's gonna make it into the vlog because I'm gonna be using that camera to vlog on, so be excited. New audio, new video. Hmm, now I just gotta fix that drone. All right.
What do you think, champ? Good spot? Let's get the champ's seal of approval. Take a look. Sniff around. What do you think? Good? Well, I think it's good. Yeah, it's good, it's good. It's good. Let's go check out the campsite. Oof. That's enough. Quiet, quiet. We are the Overlook, Nevada. This is Moapa Valley, and this is the Overlook. There's a couple water reservoirs in the area, and uh, there's this amazing campsite. It's actually really popular. There's a lot of RVs here. Now, it is Saturday, so I did expect that a little bit, but some of them look like they've been here for a long, long time. So, I don't know. The deal is here. It's not BLM land, but it is like kind of free camping. It's almost like Slab City, because I heard there's no limit. So yeah, check out this view, and you can walk right off the edge of the cliff. It's not far from my van. I better not sleepwalk tonight, eh? You know, I've fallen really into habit with these BLM land, wild camping spots, off-grid stuff. It wasn't like this last year. This is new for me. And honestly, I've fallen really into like a pattern, and I love it. Um, it's going to be thrown for a little bit of a loop, probably, but I feel like this is a stepping stone. Like, I've learned enough about what it takes to be off-grid, what it takes to find these spots, you know, how to get to them, off-road driving, keeping track of weather, all of these things. I've learned enough now that I can do this regularly. I couldn't have done this when I started. And who knows what the next step is, what, what, what the next thing for me to learn is, but I'm loving it, man. I'm just I'm so happy out here. And, like, you know, you gotta... I gotta, like, maybe work a bit on finding more of the activities like the hiking, the mountain biking, the dirt biking, those are all good. And I do those a fair bit, but I'd like to get more swimming in, more snorkeling, um, and that will be a learning curve, I think, because finding a good spot like this and then finding it close to water, that's a challenge. So for tonight, I am doing tortellini again because I need some comfort food, and I just, you know, it's going to be a little bit cold, and I'm going to set a fire tonight. So I need some something warm and nice, spicy tortellini. It's gonna be good. I'm excited. I'm just excited. I'm just so happy. I can't believe I just bought that camera. I bought that camera. I bought a 1635 f4, which will be my main vlogging lens, and I also bought a 7200 f4, which uh, classic lens that I loved on. I loved the 7200 2.8 VR2 that I had on Nikon. So this is just f4, but with the stabilization, it kind of compensates for that. And then. Uh, the classic 50 mil 1.8, I ordered one of those too. I managed to get really good deals across eBay and I'm shipping them all to uh, a friend of mine in Santa Fe. So I'll have to get out to Santa Fe and pick them up. But oh my God, I just dropped over three grand on camera gear. Uh, but the upside is I'm selling all my Nikon gear. I've already sold a bunch of it. So really I'm actually like net profiting a little bit because this new camera gear is cheaper than my old stuff. So, um, yeah, really, it's actually helping my bank account, but it just like feels it's like this is the money going out right now, and it doesn't feel good. I'm a little nervous, I'm a little manic right now. Oh, big changes, you know, big changes. So tomato, onions, hot peppers, four cheese sauce. So good, so good. Mm. Some dried tomatoes.